Welcome to Cornell Marine Program's Digital Learning Podcast. Good morning, good afternoon, or whenever you're watching. This week, I've decided I'm taking charge and I'm running the show today. We're going to focus on photography and how I use cameras to document Cornell Marine Program's projects and how my coworkers conduct, conduct public outreach. I've collected my camera gear here to show you and Mr. C my equipment and how I use that equipment in the field. And today, I'm going to make it a surprise for Mr. C. So while I'm waiting for him to get on board, I want to show you some of the photos that I've taken over the years for Cornell Marine. Rory, Rory, what's going on? Oh, hey, Mark, why, what's happening? Why do you have your, your camera gear out? Well, uh, Mr. C, I'm taking over the show today. And whoa, I'm, whoa, I'm, whoa, whoa, no, whoa. No, 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 I'm focusing no. on my photography. No, no, I thought we were gonna do a show today about the oxidation of iron in seafloor sediments. No, 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 I'm taking over the show because I wanna talk about my photography and besides, I think your topic's boring. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, okay. What did All you right. say? That, C said oxygen. What? This isn't a scientific show, okay? This is a cool, <laughs> a cool show. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I do like your topic better now that you mentioned it. Um, you, you actually do have some, looks like some interesting equipment there. It's you pretty, know? pretty cool stuff here. I can't wait yeah. to do it. So. Well, I also wondered, you know, how you got in photography. Well, I will let you know, but okay. I want you to notice the hat that I'm wearing in honor oh. of your vacation coming up. Oh, yeah. Actually, going to go back to Gloucester this uh, week for a couple of days. Nice hat. Um, thank you. And I'm changing hats. Oh, okay. Nice. Now my photography hat. Okay. Now you're a right. photographer. So go ahead. Start asking questions if you dare. All right. So let's see. Hmm. All right. So what, uh, what is the oldest camera that you have in your collection? Well, you see that one in the back right there? Yeah, this that's a, a funny looking one. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's heavy. This is a view camera and oh, wow. a company named Deerdorf made it 19, mm -hmm. probably circa 1930s, 1940s. Okay. Wow. And if you bought a camera today, a view camera today of the same size and everything, uh -huh. it would look very similar to this camera. I mean, so almost that camera, intact. So that camera could be 80 years old? Yes. Wow. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. It's wow. made out of mahogany and stainless. Mm -hmm. And uh, the back is a, it's a five by seven, but the back is a four by, excuse me, four by five. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can take that off and switch that back out. Okay. Almost like a camera lens, only different. Well, this is the ground glass, and what happens is okay. the lens goes through the bellows, and it, and it hits the ground glass, and okay. you're seeing it. But you see it backwards and upside down. So you're, you have to train yourself to view it in that way when you're composing wow. the image. So that's that a really, really fun camera to use, yeah. but it's very, very technical, and you have to take your time with it. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, let me show that you. That reminds me of these old photos where some guy had his like head under a black cloth with a. That's exactly right. That's, that's it. That's the camera. 
Okay. I didn't bring the cloth in, but uh, now, so this is a, an image that I took years ago with that camera, with that same camera. Mm -hmm. Now you see like the little bottles and everything. Let me get you a, a bigger one, the eight by 10, which I okay. had uh, an eight by 10 camera. And so there you go. This is, you can compare the, the size, right? Oh yeah, much bigger. All right. This is a shot of a uh, stream upstate. It's kind of reflecting, but. Yeah. Okay. And so well, um, back in the day when, uh, you know, they wanted better quality, they, they had to make the film bigger. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's totally different than digital today, which I mean, obviously with cameras, you know, with your phone and everything, you can get a 40 megapixel p image with your phone. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. That's pretty neat. Oh, that's cool. So um, what was the first photo you ever took for uh, working for the Cornell Marine program? So I was hired by um, my soon to be boss, Chris Smith at the time in, 1999. I've been with Cornell for 20 years. Um, that was just before uh -huh. they hired me. Uh -huh. And uh, I, he was running a save the scallop program. And uh, he wanted me to take a good quality, large format image uh, of um, the scallops. So I used this Deerdorf camera and I took the image of, all right, so you can't see that here, but I'm going to insert an image uh, of uh, the scallops that I took. Mm -hmm. And uh, a matter of fact, I just took a, uh, made a print for him and uh, he's giving it to, uh, to someone. And uh, so it's still kind of being used today after 20, 20 21 years. Wow. That was, that was my first job that I did for Cornell. And then I found out that they needed a, uh, an editor and a uh, camera guy. So mm -hmm. uh, Chris Smith ended up hiring me. That's great. Yeah. So was that about, 1999 is that sort of when you figure yep you were hired? Yep. okay That's exactly the year yep wow yep. man you are sure are old yeah i am you can see <laughs> <laughs> you know okay. you, you can tell i'm old by the cameras that i use yeah to. right there okay. you go so now you have lots of old equipment i remember uh actually in the 80s i think you know i did some whale research in gloucester massachusetts mm -hmm. and um Here's actually one of the lenses we used to use with one of our cameras. Oh, no kidding. No Look at that, huh? Yeah. Hey, I got a lens for you. Do you? Let's see your lens. <laughs> oh. Wow. Holy <laughs> smokes. Look at that. How about that? So this is a 70 to uh, 200, and it uh -huh. has a uh, two times extender on it. So that means that I can zoom in from now 70 and 7, 140 to 400. You know, wow. and these are, this is a camera that I use for a lot of my moon shots and stuff. That I okay. Do. That's right. My own personal photography. So, Neat. and this is the camera that I use currently for Cornell Cooperative Extension. It's a Canon 7D mm -hmm. and uh, great camera, great camera. Good. Uh, yep. So, so do you yeah. know what a film canister is? I do. <laughs> When we did whale research, there you go. We used those. We used black and white because we couldn't afford color to take the yep. fluke prints on the underside of the whale's tail. There you go. Yeah. So gold that's, 200. That's gold 200, which is Kodak. And this yep. is the T-Max. This was an actually new film that uh, they came out with back then. Mm -hmm. that the grain was supposed to be better, the T-Max series, rather than the, uh, you know, okay. the, the 400 and the 100 uh, pan and tri, tri yep. film. Right. So, uh, and then no, I, I, have, spent... I have these bad boys. This is a 120, 220 format. These 120 means that you can take either 12 images or 15 images, depending on what kind of camera you have, okay. or a 220, which is uh, 24 images or, or 30 images. Now, I used to use 220 because I, I was shooting weddings and stuff, and I didn't want to run uh -huh. out of film. Now, I used to go to a wedding prepared for 300 shots, right. plus 35 millimeter extra. Now, I think an average wedding, you would shoot like 1,500 images due to. Wow. Yeah. So. Uh, you just, just hold the button down, go. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Right. And this Amazing. was the camera I was fooling around with when we first. Uh, this is a medium format camera. Okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. this acted like a DSLR or not a DSLR, an SLR, meaning that it's a single lens reflex. Right. So you view the camera through a, peril, through a, uh, a, a prism. Mm -hmm. So the, let me turn it around through a prism. Yep. So the, 
the light comes in, it yep. bounces off a mirror, it comes up and you view it, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so this was the back. You could take that off really quickly and you mm -hmm. have a series of these backs and you can put them on really quickly and take pictures. So um, that's why this camera was really a nice, quick, you know, for, for its time, a good, it felt like a 35 millimeter, you could shoot like a 35 millimeter and it would mm -hmm. function very similar to a 35 millimeter, which is a faster kind of a, obviously different than the uh, eight by 10 or the five, right. five by seven, four by five view mm -hmm. camera is very slow. So, okay. Uh, yep. Wow. Yeah. So, so all these years you've been taking photos, you must have a good story of a photo that you took some <laughs> adventure. I know you, you have adventures. Oh yeah. You, a, uh, you have a good one. I do. I do. Okay. Let's hear and, it. And it, and it involves, uh, it does involve Chris Smith. Um, okay. And now uh, he was the Marine program director for quite a while. And, uh, so um, he's no longer the Marine program. He's still at, at Cornell uh, doing the Scala program. But uh, right, right. so um, he was the host of On the Water and in the Field. And uh, we were doing a story about the ro Round Robins Island, uh, you know, they call it a beer can race. And mm -hmm. so Wednesday nights, they get about, about 40 people get in their boats and they line up at one of the buoys out in Cutcho Harbor and they head out to go around Robbins Island. So I wanted this really cool shot and we were way on the, uh, the South end of the Island and there was one of those big buoys, you know, I yes. mean, it was a big, big buoy. It was one of those marker buoys, you know, right. Sure. And for navigation. And I thought, Oh, it'd be a great idea if he put me on that buoy <laughs> and, and get those boats coming really close. Right. So, uh -huh. <laughs> so I got, I jumped out on the buoy. No, no. When don't I tell me. It, don't the, tell me you fell the in the water. Was like, Whoa, <laughs> like that. And so, oh no, Chris was, he was like cracking up. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was crazy. So you fell in the water. Well, let me just say the camera didn't get wet. Okay, that was my next question. Hope the camera was okay. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's a great story. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you eventually uh, got your good photos from that event. Yes, but from a different, uh, from a different position. <laughs> Perspective. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's cool. Now we have drones and, you know, you can fly the drone yeah. over. And yeah. we actually oh, did man. another show with the drone and it was just uh -huh. spectacular. The, wow. I, didn't, I didn't shoot that one. Uh, the, right. I shot with the drone. I, 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 I had asked somebody uh -huh. else to do it for me and he did a great job. So. Yeah. Well, I wish Chris Smith had a camera, a video camera, because <laughs> <laughs> if he had one, I think you could have won the $10,000 on America's Funniest Videos. You're not kidding. <laughs> I would have submitted that in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Well, you have anything else to show me, Rory? Do you yeah, have any uh, underwater uh, equipment or video? Well, or um, so we used to use this big old uh, underwater camera, and it shot what's known as standard def. Mm -hmm. Now, standard def, if you want to know numbers, is uh, six, uh, 420 by 640 in resolution. So it was okay. kind of square and everything. HD came along and the difference between that would be 1080 times 1920. And so this big, huge camera, right? Huge, mm -hmm. right? Would shoot like this. Okay. Quality, but you know, it's just this little camera right here. It's wow. an action camera. Wow. We use this now exclusively for Cornell Marine Program. Um, they, uh, other manufacturers make a similar camera, but uh, this Shh. can shoot high def. It shoots can shoot wow. up to 4K, and the imagery is just gorgeous. It's you know very high quality, and uh, mm -hmm. you know you can wear it. You know you can wear it on your oh, hands yeah. while you're scuba yep. diving or whatever. Yep. You know, so makes hands free and um, amazing mm -hmm. the technology. And that's kind of what, you know, this camera was kind of what made the, uh, the drones kind of take off too, because you could throw mm -hmm. this on a drone and get these great shots. So, um, now, yeah, senior. so TVs have gotten bigger and cameras have gotten smaller. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Neat. Correct. Now I got a surprise for you. Um, you do? I do. You've already surprised me well, today you know, enough. Before, no, before I get to that, hold on. Before I get to that, okay. I want to show you the current camera that I'm using for video today. And it's this camera. It's called the C100, and Canon okay. makes it. Uh -huh. And now it's very similar to like a DSLR, but it's designed for cine, you know, or 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 you know, digital digital film. Right. Everything's digital. And, sure. Uh, it's just 
one of my favorite cameras. It takes such a nice image. Mm -hmm. You've seen my work, uh, you know, yeah, anybody wonderful. that's watching that, uh, you know, follows us. Sure. You know, you, they've seen all the Cornell Marine moments and stuff. Right. So this is my go-to camera. And, and you know what this is called? A microphone. <laughs> it is called a microphone, but <laughs> okay. the fluffy thing over it. A dust buster? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a dust buster. It's called okay. a dead cat. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's supposed to, and it does, it uh, muffles the wind noise. Mm -hmm. Sure, so that's important. Must. It's a must for yeah. being out on the water and that type of stuff. But sure, oh yeah. That's, that's that. Okay. And uh, what else? Oh, and this is, uh, this is just another version of, uh, and you can still, this particular camera, the 5D, kind of um, changed the uh, industry uh, for independent filmmaking. Canon back in, uh, I forgot the exact date, but back in like 2010 or just around that time, they said, oh, let's put high definition video on this camera. And what oh, wow. that created was now you have high definition with a 35 millimeter uh, mm -hmm. lens right. uh, or equivalent to, and now you're creating this depth of field and you're creating this really nice cinematic look. And it just blew up the whole industry. And now they've developed the, the, the C100 and the C200 and then on and on and on. The red camera, right. all, all these manufacturers have come through mm -hmm. with, you know, just based on kind of this, oh, let's put in high def on this camera. And it just blew up. Just an interesting so, story. So that camera could shoot regular stills and video at the same time? Yeah. Well, not at the same time. You have to switch it right. back and forth. Switch it. Right. But that yeah. body can do it. Correct. Oh, that's Correct. neat. Yep. Well, now there's the some. Fame, no, as I say, the pictures you take in the video, I mean, the saying goes, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now, you know, um, technology is incredible, right? We, yeah. we have to keep up with it. I want to show you another camera, another uh, camera piece of equipment that I'm using today that probably has taken over 50%. Well, maybe not 50, 30% of the images that I, I use. Can mm -hmm. you take a guess what I'm going to show you right now? I think I saw it. I think I was peeking. Your phone. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? So yeah. you can do 4K with this, right? Sure. And uh, wow. the one yeah. thing that's great about this, right, is that you always have this. True. Right? You always have mm -hmm. your cell phone on you, right? Right so now they're making, you know, Apple is making, uh, you know, uh, a phone. I mean, even this is the, the XR, uh, version and they have the 11, uh, mm -hmm. out now. Mm -hmm. Sam's, I mean, the, all these companies are, are making these right. wonderful cameras. Sure. Phones, Cam yeah, phone, right. cameras, phone. I, <laughs> what is know it? What I mean, like, what is it? <laughs> right. It's the computer. Right. It so is. Now I want to show you something. Now we've been going from the past into the future, right? We're kind of bumping back and forth. Yes. I want to show you. Have you ever heard of this? Can you see what that says? No. Minox. Have never heard of it. Minox. No. Let me open it up for you and show you what it is. Okay. Well, those other cameras that you have, like younger people today, wouldn't even know what those are because they're everything so you know phone oh, related. Yeah. No, it's camera. We're. I'm showing my age here. I know. But this. Some photographers out there will know what this is. This is what we used to call a little spy camera. Oh, double O Rory. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. Isn't that cool? At first I thought maybe it was I first thought maybe it was like a light meter or something. It looks like it, but it does actually have a light meter on it. And okay. it still works. It actually wow. still works. And uh, I, I have some images that uh, that that I can show you. Okay. So, uh, so here's a here's a few of them. While while I'm talking about it, I'll show you. And yeah. When I opened up the box. It actually had film in it. Okay. And so what I did was is I I have a scanner right next to my desk, mm -hmm. and I popped it in the scanner. Let me let me actually take the film out, and show you. No, I tape. I taped it in. Okay. I taped it in, so I can't really show you. But you'll see. I'll, I'll do a, a screen grab of the. Uh, of this inside of the scanner for you and I'll show it right now. So that film, you'd have to send it away to be developed, right? Well, when I own my one hour photo and here's a picture right. of, the, of my uh, sign in the, in my, my, my student, my studio there that I had the one hour photo in. Um, right. 
I had a processor and mm-hmm. uh, I developed it myself. And wow. that's, why, that's why I had this. But there was okay. a time, even at the time, Minox was, uh, was on Long Island. There was one processing plant. And uh, I think it was somewhere up in Nassau County. Mm-hmm. And um, they were still, you know, manufacturing the film and all that stuff, but just tiny, right. tiny film. And it's yeah. pretty cool, you know? I mean, it was really, it was kind of fun to use. And, uh, uh-huh. and there it is. So yeah. what you did, did was, is you, uh, you know, you took the picture, right? Uh-huh, yeah. And then you... Oh, that advanced it? Yep, advanced okay. it. Okay. And then it, uh-huh. so then you have all your settings on it. It was really a, Wow. People were, were pretty, there was like a fan club and a club to mm-hmm. show your photos mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But wow. uh, I'm not sure how old this is, but you're probably okay. talking 40, 50 years old. Amazing. And, uh, it's yeah, great keep show. it right in your pocket, anyway, like your phone yeah. today. And they have this little, you know, they have this cord here and this thing right here. Okay. That yeah. Is that's for your, that's for a button. So you can, hang Oh, that. you put it on your uh, button. Okay. Yeah. And it, so, uh, cool stuff, cool stuff. I figured, yeah that's great know. all right anyway. well that was uh very educational rory thanks and uh, it's great to see your equipment and see some of your photos again and uh okay. looking forward to uh seeing more of your wonderful photos and videos uh here in the future for cornell awesome well i love photography and i love you know videography and and mm-hmm. you know i i always wanted to make a film you know real film mm-hmm. never got the opportunity and this really uh fulfills that need for me, you know? And so, uh, you know, it, it's just, you, you grow with the times, you know, and you have to do yeah. what, what's available to you. And, uh, digital has really come a long way. And, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not so much a purist, but I'd, I'd like to get back into doing a little bit of film. Yeah. Uh, great. So, but yeah, thanks for letting right. me take over the, yeah. uh, the podcast today, Mark. No problem. Keep taking pictures and video, Rory. All right. Have a great time in Gloucester. Thanks. See you on the next one, all right? You got it. Bye-bye. Okay, that's our podcast for this week. Thanks for watching. If you've been enjoying these shows and want more information on the marine environment and all that the marine program does, please subscribe to Cornell Marine's YouTube channel and hit that bell for notifications when we post a video. This isn't the only content we do. Our channel is all about the programs and outreach to you. Have a great week and see you next time.